Hi Sag, welcome back and you're watching The Secrets on Tarot. I hope you're keeping healthy and safe. Reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases, but do not force the reading on your situation, Sag, right? Let's dive into your reading. Let's see what messages. Wow. First card, the sun. Interesting. Wonderful. I see you're struggling to make a decision, but the outcome is very beautiful, right? So let's see what messages come through for you, Sagittarius. We're going to quickly see what's going to be the theme of this week and then we will have the tarot, right? Aquarius. Oh, I said Aquarius. I've been getting Aquarius energy for you very strongly. I saw the star. I saw the sun. That's the Leo energy. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo. So, Sanj. We have... Okay, four of wands, interesting. Foundation and achievement, building on your um, stability, working on your stability, the people you care about. I see family, I see close knit people. I see togetherness, support, stability, right? Foundation, beautiful, beautiful, strong foundation. Two of pentacles, movement, choices, and decisions. Again, I see there is uh, some foundational change happening in your life, some foundational changes happening in your life and i see you struggling to make the right decision we had two of pentacles here also right so i think that's a very clear message that some decisions that you're making right now are going to make the strong foundation of your future now this future can be after the month after the week or anything right but something that you're doing right now some decisions some choices you're making right now they're going to impact your impact your future foundation so Wow, Satch, this is a big message. This is a very big message and this is a very important development. Okay, wow, interesting. Let's dive into your reading. Let's see what's happening with you. Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Cups. I see you coming from a place of confusion and choices. But now you're getting ready to cut through the confusion and look at the clearer picture. Within you, I see there's some kind of dissatisfaction about the situation and you are in some kind of denial mode that I am not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. And maybe that's the reason why you're cutting through this confusion and you're getting ready to talk about it. For a very long time, I see you spent a very long time in that confusion, analyzing the options and comparing the options, what's better, what's not. I see a lot of confusion was there in the past. But um, this can be, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, strong air energy in your surroundings. But you're cutting through the confusion and I think within you, you are in the mode of rejection. So this is like, I'm going to reject it if something is not clicking me. I'm not going to stay in that mode thinking that one day it will happen. So instead of, uh, I, there's a rejection mode and there's an acceptance mode. In acceptance mode, we say, okay, we are keeping this in the backlog till the time we're convinced that we want to have it right and rejection mode is that we're putting full stop to everything that doesn't make sense right now i don't know about the future very interesting so let's see your surroundings any, spe any specific or significant person you're dealing with their energies towards you i see that there was a specific person who really wanted to work with you but I see you feel sometimes that this person gets distracted a lot. They focus on you, they focus uh, working with you, but they get a lot of um, outside inside. This can be parents, this can be family, this can be any third party coming in and putting something in their mind to distract your thing with them. Yeah. But you feel that this is a connection that, ha that, uh, that has always helped you grow, that your connection is something they want to work over and uh, it may, it is healthy for both of you mm -hmm. i see you asking questions but someone is quiet dead silent this is very irritating <laughs> i understand that you are in that mode where you want clarity dude what is wrong with you i'm setting the boundaries i want to talk queen of swords and queen king of swords they're two different energies where queen of swords they both want to set boundaries but Queen of Swords is more the talkative type, right? They'll ask for clarity, they'll ask for boundaries, they'll talk about the boundaries, they'll try to discuss. Though their terms are very clear and they're not compromising, but they at least talk. King of Swords, on the other hand, it's not the energy where, where they talk. They don't talk, they just go cold and silent. Dead, silent, unromantic, unavailable, right? So King High Priestess, on the other hand, for this person, I see they can see. 
they can see you asking questions they can see you talking they can see you setting boundaries and they're silent they're like okay do whatever you want i'm just listening to my higher self this person is quiet they're holding a lot of secrets and they're very confident about their secrets and they're holding them very tight i see a lot of resistance for some of you i see that right now you're the one like dude i want to know this what are you doing you're asking questions and stuff and this is pissing you off this is making you really turned off because they are in so much um, silent mode right now right holding back in silent mode so let us see seven of pentacles but you know what they're waiting for you you are in the rejection mode but they are waiting for you for a lot of you sagittarius i'm picking up that you're a little cranky right now because things are appearing very very confusing right now they're not making sense sometimes and that's why you feel like putting off to everything but on the other hand somebody in your surroundings is very patient from within right they know that you have a history with them or in general there's some important history attached in the situation this past there are emotions there's soulmate energy this person wants to give you time and if somebody is silent right now that doesn't mean that they don't care about you or they're not bothered it's just that they're waiting for the right time they're waiting for the right time to talk they're waiting for the right time to confess and they're waiting for the right time to work over this connection i see they always had the intentions to work over it and they still have the intention to work over it my god this person is in love if this is love they are very patient and no matter how cranky you get they want to still love you <laughs> isn't it sweet okay so um this can be love this can be anything though but i see this is some decision about a situation which is going to build your foundation for future so this is important that's that's i'm quite sure about let's see the aquarius what is making you so confused what is causing so overwhelmed uh reaction from your side page of cups the moon and the eight of pentacles interesting three of wands under the deck you're waiting for something you're focused over I, I see dead focus, laser focus over something. You are trying to make something happen. But you don't see the future right now. Sometimes you're walking through a tunnel and we don't see the light. That doesn't mean that it doesn't have end. Sometimes there are twists and turns we have to go through. And at the end of the tunnel, we're going to see the light. But right now, the light is not visible. And probably that's the reason that is making you very cranky. You might feel that, okay, my decisions were not right or your decisions are not right. What you're saying, I'm not accepting that. I see this is somehow frustrating for you because you're working over something and you don't see the light till now, right? I see that uh, somebody is really trying to be compassionate here. They're emotional. They even apologize for some things. I heard that um, if they get distracted sometimes, they apologize for it. If you both are working over something together, they get distracted and they try to apologize. But I see that the reason behind this frustration is not that they're getting distracted it's just a vent for you but the real reason is that you are working over something and you want results but right now things are overwhelming because you have to make important decisions and i see what you do today is going to give you results in the time yet to come so i see that's the reason why you're feeling so cranky here what is this three of pentacles what is this person working over knight of pentacles ten of swords and seven of wands okay interesting they're working for a proposal right and they really feel pissed off tired and hurt when you um i see that your attention is laser focused over something you're building and this person sometimes feels that you they don't get the real share of your attention knight of pentacles i see they're trying to make that pentacle that is going to be really stable offer for you but i think you are in that mode that i will make it on my own right for some of you i'm picking up that they want to help they want to help but uh, you are like okay i don't want your help i don't need your help i want to work over it on my own that causes a lot of friction right i see they try to push things forward but you are like in the mode where you're not very satisfied 
for some of you this can be opinion conflict also you you you're in a very compassionate connection with with somebody if this is a relationship you have very healthy harmonious thoughts for each other but what they say you don't accept they try to push it and you really get pissed off that is something i'm picking up right now the tower the seven of swords and the page of swords okay there's a lot of skepticism i see you want to run away from something for some of you, I'm picking up that some kind of epiphany is happening within you. And this is not about a specific person. This can be about the whole situation you're in right now. The decision you are about to make, that the chapter which is in front of you right now. I see some epiphanies are happening and they are really shocking for you. For some of you, I'm picking up that you did something massive. You were working over it and now things are coming in front of you, which are shattering right now. You feel that the previous foundation was not healthy enough. Death, transformation. Sometimes at heart, you feel like running away from that situation, right? You don't want to give clarity to anybody. You just want to run away. And the page of swords shows me that um, you're very skeptical. You want truth. You want clarity. You want to focus on the details. But you are very practical right now. And because you're focusing on the details, I see that's the point from where the rejection is coming. You're not accepting the details that are being presented to you. On the other hand, the specific person, let's see, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the... Now, they see a stable future with you. They are very grounded and compassionate, and they really feel abandoned when they see you overly occupied in your personal stuff. This person wants attention. They want to talk. They want to express. They want to be the person who can bring that stability in your life. Okay, I see that they want to talk about future. They want to talk about the long-term fruits. King of Pentacles, very grounded. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They really feel abandoned by you not focusing over them. And I see you are busy building a foundation for yourself. Six of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups. Okay, some emotional expression can happen. Out of rat. Very, very uh, unexpected encounter coming very rash towards you. I see this can be communication, this can be message, this can be information. I see this can be younger Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn who wants to talk. I again see Aquarius energy here, Sag. Someone is coming very rash towards you and they want uh, to say something which is going to turn you very emotional. I see you were setting boundaries here for a very long time. If you were saying, saying, saying and this person was silent, they can suddenly say something, a rash reaction to something that you've been trying can come up which can make you very emotional, right? Two of swords, two of wands and six of pentacles. And this person is very silent, dead silent right now because they're quite puzzled about what to do next. At heart, they want to level up. They want to invest. They want to be a part of whatever you're doing. And for some of you, I'm picking up that they want to be more giving in the situation. And the, the energy, the thought that you are right now not in that acceptance mode freaks them out. I see two of swords, two of wands and the six of pentacles. I see they are very confused about how to level up things. I see <clears throat> they feel sometimes that you're not completely present in the picture. In the future, they might try to invest more, but they're very silent. They're not talking about this emotion with you, the high priestess. They, they want to give you time. I'm picking up that someone wants to give you time here. Sagittarius. Wow, very intense. Let's see what's happening here. Aloneness. Despite of this intensity, I see that you feel left out. This person feels cold and abandoned, but you on the other hand, you know what I see despite of the connection, you both are not, we are the world. I see you both have been together throughout a lot of uh, uh, the phases in your life. I see this is an important person in your surroundings who has been through with you, Ten of Pentacles. But on the other hand, despite of that company, that focus, that whatever, you want to work alone or you feel that in this situation, this person cannot help me, you know, as if they feel that i'm i'm having all the expertise to guide Sarge through but you feel that it's not the case i will have to walk down this road alone and i see that's the place from where the conflict is coming you want to do something alone traveling yes eight of wands talking i see you want to do some this can be travel alone this can be doing something alone you want to run away you want to you make something happen alone laziness nine of cups and this person is not able to acknowledge that because I see you have done a lot of things together. You have been through a lot together. I see soulmates energy. 
and now your will to work over it alone is really hurting them you are eight of pentacles they are three of pentacles they want the support and connection they want to build it together you on the other hand are at that stage where you're not sure about it right now and you might even feel that um, somebody's not able to understand your part here learning all you can about a subject or career going back to school taking a seminar or finding a mentor attention to detail skilled work that you love can you see that eight of pentacles again and i'm getting the same vibe here yeah three of cups i see you see this person as a soulmate somebody who can be a part of uh, all your achievements you have a very good vibe friendly vibe for this person but on the other hand you want to do some things on your own and you don't want interference there i see that's the whole conflict here they have their own way of working you have your own way of working and that is causing a lot of conflict here news words celebrating joyful announcements like engagement wedding pregnancy or graduation a time for gratitude close communities or the chosen families so that's interesting i see here um sad that this is a very minute time period in between where the conflict is happening and then things are sort coming back to normal i see you both have shared more than a relationship i see this is a very intense friendship with somebody this is your soulmate and you both need to learn how to work together i see they have some things to brush up you have some things to brush up but the good thing here is that you both have reconciliation in mind for some of you i'm picking up that you want to be with them but you want your independence to stay intact the way you work i see you don't want to get challenged over your ways and your uh, means but this person really triggers you sometimes because they bring out something in you and you feel that am i not good enough am not am i not doing the the right thing or this can be somebody who finds a lot of mistakes in your work and you hate it you want to do something on your own so that can be one of the things i'm picking up here right faithfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine be light romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so you both love each other i see this is a small conflict and the moment this rash communication rash reaction from their side towards you comes in i think this is going to take out your romantic side and you'll feel that oh <laughs> attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully you're being advised to just calm down i see you have some turbulence is going on within you right now and don't let that take over you give it some time talk it out i see this is about to flow naturally heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other it's time to communicate sagittarius don't run away from the conversation if you don't like some things about this person if you don't like the way uh they try to correct you you feel it it has an interference talk it out but don't let the room for miscommunication or misunderstanding to creep in right that's the message i've heard thank you so much guys for watching bye bye